today we're bringing STC through. Um, we're going to be practicing the show. We're going to run through the whole, I think it's about five songs. Practicing, we got E. Miller coming through and Adrian Marquis. Hopefully everything goes smooth because this show is our first show and it's got to be flawless. I really feel like not enough people, you know, even attempt to rehearse, you know what I mean? Like, you get some artists that be like, oh, we rehearsing, what you want to rehearse for? I mean, we know our raps, we know what we're supposed to do, but this is business, you know what I mean? And, and with it being business, you got to got into get into a business mind, you know, mind state. And they, they said, they was like, oh, the two, the two cutest is, is you and Beezy. You guys are cute. I said, well, you. Yeah. Omar and Mac Villain don't get no cute or nothing? Uh, they said, no, na uh, Nasty's ugly. Mac Villain's ugly. I said, oh, that's cold. I said, y'all gonna say they ugly. And I said, hold on, let me show you a different picture. And I flipped over my folder and showed them the picture of you and O. And she goes, oh. Who said I'm ugly? <laughs> 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 he, he heard it way over there. Man, I'm impatient. I'm very impatient. I don't like waiting on anybody. So me having to wait for somebody is like, ugh, you know what I mean? I really can't stand it, you know what I mean? But, you know, things happen like Charger games. Hopefully we can get it all together because we're hours away from the show. You know what I mean? Right. We're not even a day away from the show. We're kind of hours away now. How many hours? Since Thursday. It's kind of frustrating because it starts running through your mind whether the show is gonna be how you wanted it or if you need a plan B. They were supposed to be here at four o'clock. Oh. At two. Four. four. They were supposed to be here at two. Four o'clock. They were supposed to be here at four o'clock. Waiting around and, and somebody not showing up, you know, that ain't cool with me. This is the, this is the missing element right now. This guy's missing. You wanna say something to the people? Hold on. Make him do his verse on the phone. Can you hear him? <laughs> they can do it. They can rehearse over the phone. Can, can you hear him? Hey, 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 you know what I mean? Because I ain't, I ain't with waiting. All right, let's get back to business because I got to be at the homeless shelter. <laughs> That's some reality for your ass. Did you hear what he just said? Say the again. homeless shelter. He ain't bullshitting. I ain't bullshitting. He ain't Same bullshitting. visit to Paul, 16th and in Imperial. Guess what? I'm bullshit, hold up. <laughs> Yeah, man, we down here at uh, Kane's Mission Beach, San Diego. Everybody gonna find out who STC is, who Hustle Mac is, who Nasty O is, who Labeezy is, who Mac Villain is. I know this meant a lot to Hustle to be there, especially that his wife was gonna be there because she was really excited to see the first time that he was gonna be on stage with the group. She forgot her ID at home, and that almost messed up the whole thing because Hustle got all upset he didn't want to do the show. Well, he didn't say he didn't want to do the show without it, but I could tell that he was going to have a problem if she wasn't there. What, what, what's going on, Maria? Is someone coming through? Is someone coming? Who's coming? Um, G. You going to do it? But um, I think G, with Extreme Records, ended up going to get her ID. Check out the glass, man. See what it say? One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, flow. That means your ass is going to hit the flow. Drinking that drink. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
getting to see, you know, for the first time how we react to each other as a group on stage. I mean, we already had that, the presence of a group, you know, at, in the studio, but on stage it's something totally different. Through all the bullshit, though, through all the bullshit, real motherfuckers prevail, right? As soon as we got off stage, we got rushed. Like, people were ready to go, but they didn't want to just leave. It, it's like they wanted to meet us, shake our hands, give us... I guess respect for what we did. A lot of people were surprised at it. No one was expecting it to go this well. Signed autographs, took pictures, a lot of autographs. It was, it was a very exciting moment. Got to. Got to. That shit's bomb. No, he got the pin. He got the pin. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. He got the pin. He got the pin. Right, you got to sign it. You got to sign it. Sign it up. The whole signature right there. For it to be our first show and the crowd to just you know, fall in love with this music and, and what we did and how we did it, man. It was just off the hook, man. It's it's like a blessing. I can't believe it's happening. I I have no I don't know anybody that can do what the lab is doing right now. At all. No, nothing comes to mind. This is just a really good thing. Why y'all playing games, man? I was in there taking a the Mac villain. <laughs> <laughs> No, I haven't been doing no, I haven't been shit. <laughs>